I'm just taking it one fight at a time, you know. Um, I definitely feel I'm one of the best 140 pounders out there. And I'm just leaving it up to Kevin and Don. And like I said, I told my coach in Camel, line them up and I'll knock them down. <laughs> St. Louis can hardly wait. It's a little thing. Yeah, so we got to we, we got to pee a guy back, you know what I mean? And the guy came in the loop, and he, and he kind of disrupted us a little bit, you know what I mean? We had Nelly bringing him in, and everybody was whistling and singing the thing, and he lost his weight. And, and so Kevin has got Devin to get redemption. We want to get payback, you know what I mean? Payback. That's what that is, you know what I mean? Oh, so so yo oh, oh, yeah. Hey, Louis is the deal. <laughs> Oh, we're going to talk about it. You yeah, I know. That's my job. I understand. I mean, yeah, me, me, and, me and that young man, we're going to we gonna talk and see how we're going to make things happen. We don't care who it is ourselves. We take two or three in one night. That's Zap Judy, y'all. Be able to do it. That's Zap Judy. What's that? Anything to add about Zap? No, I mean, uh, like, like, like Devin said, we yeah. we take him out, whoever, whoever, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Zab, Zab, it's 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 a it's it's a, it's, it's a, it's a yeah, yeah, it's a little, a little. We gonna put a little don't extra sauce on it when we get on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we we you know, we, we Tim Bradley, Zab, whatever. Zab is some some extra we gotta deal with with him because he came through St. Louis and, and, and you know he disrupted things. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, he disrupted things. But you know what we gonna do? We like the black church here. Who's the will let him come? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We ain't picking and choosing. You know, all of them come, you know, be baptized. <laughs> Think about uh, uh, Timothy Bradley. Oh, he ran, man, but I got that. Man, <laughs> man ran off. He gave his belt up. That's how we end up with this, because Tim oh, Bradley man. gave it away as opposed to fighting that. He, he's a good fighter, but. I mean, I, I think he gave up the belt if he didn't want to fight me. He knows me from the amateurs, and he knew I was going to beat him, so. I guess he gave up the belt, but I'm going to see what he say now. I got both of the belts now, so see what he's going to do. You think he wants to put his belt on the line? Nah. Devin, at any moment, the moment did Juan Urango hurt you? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I was very surprised. Um, but I trained very hard. Um, uh, every day, I was up at 5.30 in the morning, 12 o'clock at the gym, training hard, vigorous. And in the fight, not at all. He didn't hurt me at all. He's just a pressure fighter, and he, he's going to try to brawl with you. But I stick to the game plan. <clears throat> the times I did get hit was the times I, I didn't follow the game plan. When he did touch me, it didn't hurt at all. And I was very surprised because Juan Greg was supposed to be the toughest guy in the 140-pound division, and he didn't hurt at all. So I was very surprised. With blazing speed. Dynamic combinations, you know what I mean? <laughs> Punches coming from nowhere. You heard the saying about the hand writing on the wall? The only one that could decipher that uh -huh. was Daniel, you know what I mean? And this is what it was. The handwriting was on the wall, and he fulfilled the prophecy. Imminent <laughs> <laughs> doom.